Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video I will continue my discussion about the triggers. So yesterday uh, I published my uh, first video about the triggers where I have given the overview of triggers, what triggers are and uh, uh, what at what levels you can specify the triggers. It means uh, whether you can specify the triggers at sheet level or document level or um, you know field level and all. So in this video, the intention is to continue with this discussion and tell you about each and every specific action which you can specify with the help of the triggers functionality we have in QuickView. So let's go back to our document uh, where we need to do our uh, operations or the actions and uh, continue with our uh, discussion on the first action or the first trigger which is there uh, in the QuickView. So as you know, you know you have uh, triggers at different levels like sheet, document, field or variable. So if I just right click on sheet here on sheet and click on sheet properties, uh, we can specify triggers on these events on activate sheet, on leave sheet. So these events will be different for uh, the level or on the level you are specifying the trigger. So for example, if you are specifying a trigger on field, then the event can be on change event, which means that uh, you want to perform some kind of an action with the help of trigger when the field value is changing. Okay, so for sheet, we have two events on which we can specify triggers on activate sheet. That means that when you activate a sheet, uh, you can specify an action. Similarly, on leave sheet, that means when you are leaving the sheet and activating another sheet then what action you would like to perform so for example while leaving the sheet you may want to just uh, remove all the selection which you have done on the sheet and while moving on the next sheet you just want to view entire data without having no selections at all so these are like couple of examples about uh, these different types of events when to specify one so let's go ahead and uh, uh, perform an action on the first trigger which is uh, which we can do by clicking on add action button and uh, we have specified it on on activate sheet and let's click on add so yesterday also i mentioned like we have for different action type uh, which has a lot of actions associated to it selections has almost everything related to the selection uh, you want to do whether it's in a field uh, and you know different types like select excluded lock field lock all and you know all these different kind of actions which you can do similarly you have action type layout related to the uh, layout of the sheet bookmark print external so on and so forth so the main thing is this that the event can be different like for sheet you have on activate sheet on leave sheet for field you have on change event but these action types are pretty much similar for the different types of events we have to to take this uh, uh, discussion further even if you have uh, a button so for example let me just go back click cancel here so suppose you don't want uh, to specify uh, based on an event, uh, say for example on a sheet event like uh, you activate a sheet or leave a sheet, but you want to specify the event on the, uh, you specify the uh, you know, action on a button, then also these are the similar actions which you can basically do. So if, if I create a button here and give a text like button, then specify the action. And if I click add, you see this, these are all pretty much similar everywhere, uh, which is related to firing an event. When you fire an event, that means when you hit a button, what action you want to perform. So actions are similar everywhere. It's just that different types of events gets changed. So that's the basic understanding I wanted to give before moving ahead. So I'll just click cancel here on this button and go back to our example where I wanted to perform some action on uh, sheet on activate sheet event. So if I click on add action, click on add and for the first 
action type selection i select the first action which is select in field so when i click ok it gives me two options on which field we want to do the selection and what is the search string so important point is here that it is a search string that means it enables us to perform all the different kind of advanced searches uh, related to what click view provide so for example wildcard characters and uh, uh, you know variable specified or anything that means you can use expressions and things like that for for performing a search so for this basics uh, uh, learning perspective let's go ahead and see what we can do first so let's specify uh, the field name which is uh, say country here i have the list box for country on which i want to do some kind of a selection and uh, let's first specify that when I'm activating a sheet, then India should be selected. I click OK. So important point to note that note that I have not specified the double quotes or anything related to the string we usually do. So click OK. Click OK. So right now we are in this sheet. That means we are already here. So it has not selected. But if I go to sheet one and come back to the main sheet, then the field selection is there for India the thing that we have specified okay so this is the first thing I mean very very simple operation very simple activity that we want to do uh, this can be helpful in business scenarios where you know you have some sheets where you want some predefined filters to be selected uh, based on the business requirement like if it if this is an India sheet then you want just India related information to be here uh, as a as a part of pre-selected values so if I go back and uh, and do some other kind of an operation for example uh, say I want to select both India and UK they are not related but uh, we want both India and UK to be selected then you we need to do a little bit of expression with the help of pipe operator pipe and uk so this is basically saying that you we need to select both india and uk when we are activating the sheet and okay if i go to sheet one and come back to sheet two now you can see both india and uk is here so another uh, tricky scenario can be where you have some spaces uh, in the field and you want to do a selection then what you need to do is you need to again go back to sheet properties and click on edit action so the thing which I'm going to tell is basically related to uh, those field selection where you have spaces uh, between the values like India and then maybe the city name India space Mumbai then this kind of symbol operation will not uh, perform the uh, required uh, action what we need to do maybe we need to put double quotes here India and then Mumbai and then the UK if we want to have or uh, if, if we want to just select India Mumbai we need to remove UK from here and specify the value like this so that it consider it as a one string otherwise it will not give you the desired result so this is basically uh, the first action I wanted to tell you in this video and uh, the different types of operations that you can do uh, uh, with the help of the search string. So before I move on, I just remember one more uh, interesting search feature with the help of the wildcard characters. Say for example, just remove this. So say for example, we have uh, values like UK, US and all and we want a functionality where we want to select everything which is starting from u then what we need to do very simple u and put a star over here so this will also work here uh, in uh, that means it accepts the wildcard character in the search string so click ok click ok so if I go back to sheet 1 and again activate the main sheet you can see us and uk is selected so I hope you find this video useful and uh, I am able to explain you the different kind of functionalities you can achieve 
with the help of search string and uh, able to explain the first action type in the triggers so this is pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video and i will meet you in the next video with a new topic till then bye bye